The couple who lived next door to the Bain family in Dunedin have described them as difficult and unusual neighbours, even though their eldest daughter, Arua, occasionally babysat for them. It's day four of the David Bain retrial, a day marked by some fascinating insights about the doomed family, as well as some sharp exchanges between the judge and the defence. Jeff Hampton's following the case and he's with us live, Jeff. Yes, the court learnt what it was like living next door to the Baines when their old neighbours spoke of a dilapidated house with a dysfunctional family inside. Wayne Marsh's family lived next door to the Baines' rotting ramshackle house in Every Street, Dunedin. He said they weren't the easiest neighbours, especially the night shots were fired from the Baines at possums and trees on the Marsh property. The spotlight was going up the tree on our boundary, right. near our boundary, and... So did you speak to Robin Bain about that at all? I had reason to phone him the next day to express my concern about the... Uh, it was very close to one of my daughter's bedroom window. And there were problems with David Bain's dog before it was put down. I think it bit the postman and I think it bit a number of other people before that actually happened. Yes. <laughs> In spite of that and other problems such as drainage water spilling from the Baines property, the Marshes used older sister Arawa as a babysitter, but Mother Margaret discouraged them from ever using Lani yet. I remember on the phone, a phone conversation she mentioned that Lani wasn't suitable. She never gave a reason that she was either too young or too old. There was just something she wasn't suitable. It was mystifying. Claims have been made at the trial that Laniette worked as a prostitute, calling herself Paige. Earlier, there were tense moments when defence lawyer Michael Reed QC clashed with the prosecution and the trial judge, Justice Pankhurst. One exchange occurred over the fairness of Reed's questioning of a police witness. I would like to make the next two or three questions first before telling this but witness... There's an objection what... to the question you've just... I know that... <laughs> uh, I give up. You make the ruling, I'll abide by it, sir. If that's how it's going to go, I'll do it. The, the ruling is simply as I've indicated, that the questions must be put fairly, and they must... Jeff, what seems to be at the heart of these exchanges between the judge and the defence? Well, it's bound up in complex legal procedure, but basically the judge felt that some of Reed's question lines were unfair, being used more to bolster the defence than to elicit information from witnesses. Now, there were some testy exchanges, at least half a dozen over that, and it's only day three of evidence. Jeff, thank you.